giving out the Brooke Barringer Award today. The reason why I can't, it's not about an award. It's about a life. It's about human life. I had the privilege of recruiting Brooke Barringer back in the 90s. Brooke Barringer came here and was the second string quarterback for three years. And he could have transferred, he could have pouted, and all of that. Tommy Frazier was the quarterback. In 1994, we're on a national championship run, and Tommy blows out a leg with a blood clot. The number two guy comes in, Brooke Barringer. And from that point on, he had to take over this team. And we won game after game after game against all odds. He arguably was the top quarterback in America that year. We went on to win a national championship with Barringer and Frazier when he came back. The next year was the true test of the character of Brooke Barringer. That's why they put a statue out there. Because in 95, Brooke wasn't the top quarterback in America. Tommy Frazier won the job and went on to lead us to another national championship. It was the runner-up to the Heisman Trophy. And Brooke sat the bench a good portion of the year, hardly playing an afterthought in the sports writer's world, but not in his world, because he was an ambassador in that locker room. He went in that locker room and he lived out what it meant to be a true teammate, to compete every day, not pouting, not pointing the finger. It was about this team. He went across the state and he visited schools and churches and basketball clinics and he did all kinds of things with kids, reading to them, pouring into the lives of the state out of his faith in God and his love for people. And in 1990, after the 95 season, he was a had a chance to be drafted in the NFL, probably a third or fourth round pick. The day before the NFL draft, he was a pilot, he had had his license, he flew an airplane, and just down the street a little bit, his plane crashed and he died. And that was a very, very difficult day for the Branger family and me. But the death of a great person should breathe life in the people they leave behind. And that's why Coach Osborne said, you're not putting a statue up there of me unless you put a statue also of the most influential player that's ever played here, Brooke Barrington. And that's why we give the award. It isn't just ability and this and that. He was an overcomer. It's an ambassador wherever you go, no matter what the circumstances are. And so today, we're deeply honored to present that award to an overcomer in the midst of us, John Bullock. I don't got much, but uh, <laughs> it's an honor to get this award. I mean, um, I appreciate it. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. The beautiful thing about this is in that when you recruit somebody or you're a part of that process, this football family, it extends to this. So my wife and these people right here are some of our closest friends to this day. We miss Brooke, but his legacy lives on. And in the spirit of Brooke, we get to pass that on to you. God bless you. Thank you very much. All right, fellas. Let's come out and attack tomorrow. One better.